Hello and welcome everyone. Today I would love to talk about witches and witchcraft. The witch is an ancient figure that appears in every culture and tradition. She appears in many forms and shapes depending on the social and cultural background and on her image. The image of the witch has changed over the centuries from gifted high priestess to the evil ugly old woman and nowadays to fantasy figure coming alive in various tales, books, films and video games. The witch has never died, she has always been there and that for a reason. The witch is linked to women in general. For me personally, the witch represents the feminine aspect of society, spirituality and sexuality. These aspects are deeply connected. In our world, the masculine and feminine qualities are not balanced. For many centuries, there has been an overload of masculine energy in all areas of our lives. The feminine has been suppressed in our society, spirituality and sexuality. This has led to various events in our history. And we are still working on the reinstallation of the healthy feminine and masculine, as well as the union or reunion. Femininity is found in female as well as in male beings and is not to be misunderstood as to only dwell in women. Whenever one aspect is suppressed, it comes back through the back door. This happened to feminine sexuality and spirituality in the last centuries. While the female and femininity had been worshipped in many ancient civilizations, they became object to demonization and with them women. For many spiritual groups, the woman is the cause for the fall from grace of humanity, especially in Germany and some other European countries. This perception found its climax in the witch hunt during the Inquisition in which thousands of women had been tortured and sentenced to death after the accusation of being witches. Many were suspected of an alliance with dark forces that contradicted the church's rules. Besides the fact that most of the women weren't even witches, the whole event that ended in a mass hysteria based on superstition revealed the true problem. There was and is a fear from women. Their seductive powers, their sexuality, their strength in any sense, their spiritual expression, wisdom and connection. A huge projection of fears led to all kinds of brutality, as it always does. And yet the witch did not die. She reappeared, and that because she is part of the world. She is a natural part of woman and also of man. The origin of the witch lies in the source, the ultimate creator itself. A witch is nothing else but a worshipper of the source. Often defined as the wise woman, she deals with the highest wisdom of creation. She accesses the source through spiritual practice in order to manifest and express divine power in the physical world. This is what magic is all about. Magic is also the power coming from the source. The original witches were women who manifested directly from the source and all its layers. Creation has many, many layers. We have our planet, Mother Earth, that has its natural power and energy that can be accessed. There are countless planets, stars, galaxies and universes and they all have their unique energy. There are many spirits in nature and in creation that can be called upon. There are guides and guardian beings and the entire soul world. The witch knew how to access these energies in order to manifest. She has different names in different cultures and times and yet these terms all denote the witch. We have priestesses and high priestesses, for example, in Delphi and other mediums who knew how to foretell the future and to speak wisdom. There are and have been shamanic priestesses, spiritual healers, seers and wise women everywhere. And while the Christian church and other religions have killed many women for being witches, as they seem to perform a magic that was not allowed, their own nuns knew how to use herbs, for example, to chant and to heal with divine power and more, just as other wise women did, that would normally have been killed as heretics. To understand witches, the conflicts around them, and the role of women and their conflicts, 
is to understand how humanity misunderstands spirituality and misses to see the oneness among different disciplines and spiritual groups. There is only one source, and this source is the creator of man and woman. Therefore, all can access the source equally, and the source is the basis for any spiritual direction, religion or group. Why women have been abandoned from political, religious, scientific, financial and other decisions in our world, the femininity has also been abandoned from these fields. And this has led to the challenges that we face. In many cultures, the wise woman, the witches specifically, worship the female goddess or the female god. These matriarchies also included man who worship the divine feminine and female god figures. The source is both male and female, or neither, depending on the perspective. It carries both in itself and created both of it. The source is the greatest harmony as male and female, yin and yang, are balanced. This reflects on the physical world. Humanity is physically divided into male and female, as well as we express feminine and masculine energies and principles. Women have become the expression of the suppressed divine feminine, which is calmness, a connection to cycles and circular structures in the creation of our universe. It is vulnerability, sensitivity, intuition and wisdom. This connection is vital for making decisions in the physical world. That's why in ancient times politics were not separated from spiritual advice. It is to understand that decisions need to include the whole picture and need to stem from wisdom. Even nowadays, spiritual advice is appreciated from politicians. But whenever someone tries to simply gain control over a country or even the whole planet, the spiritual advice is misused. Hitler is a famous example for having done a lot of research on spiritual wisdom, on access to power. He used and abused a lot of symbols, practices and energies. And what happens when the intention is to gain power only? A huge catastrophe happens. These and other examples show that femininity lacks in our world. Masculinity stands for straight lines, straight ways to achievements, movement, direction, action, striving, courage and protection. When these qualities act without including the feminine, they tend to be destructive. Pressure, competition, conflict and war are a result of a lack of femininity. The original work of the witch was aligned with the divine feminine. Mother Earth as a female planet, the cosmic nature and therefore universal laws and principles. The witch was in many ways an advisor and healer. The magic they used and still use is the power of the source the creator that dwells on different layers. In our planet, its elements, plants, animals, spiritual beings, saints, gods and goddesses, heaven and the source itself, with all its layers. To perform magic is to access these powers and to manifest from them. There are two forms of magic, white magic and black magic. White magic is the intention to manifest good things for yourself and others like health, luck, beauty, prosperity, flourishing, love and more. Black magic is the intention to manifest harmful things for others such as sickness, failure, death. To only speak about the difference already reveals the different qualities of these two types of magic. When I say health and luck, it feels like bright light and heart opening. It's a blessing. When I say sickness and failure, it feels like black dust and inconvenient. It closes the heart and it's almost like a curse. Here we come to another point of magic. The words are important. The word is the power. We all know the concept of spells. It's what religions use as prayers. It is the most powerful tool to speak with intention. The words already are a big part of the manifestation. That's why words and language play a crucial role in politics and in any discipline that manifests and shapes structures. That's why many people work on their rhetoric skills. It is power. We all know that the witch performs a ritual. While we in the Western world would find it probably a bit ridiculous to perform a ritual, 
It has been a huge part of everyone's life on the planet in every culture and tradition. What a witch does is to connect to the spiritual forces that she wants to include into her manifestation. Behind this lies the wisdom that not we as humans have the power, but that the source in all its layers have the power. The witch becomes a medium for higher energies, higher intelligence and higher manifestation powers. The witch understands that she is a part of the source and one with nature. She respects universal laws and principles and she originally worked with them in order to bring good and in order to manifest the highest will. To have physical tokens that stand for the elements and the forces she calls upon is very natural. A ritual is an expression in the physical world of what is happening in the spiritual world. That's why very often rituals include music, dancing, chanting and rhythm. It echoes creation and its powers. It depends on the purity and the intention of the witch what the result will look like. Nothing that we do is without consequences. That what we do to others is what we do to ourselves. Therefore, it's interesting to see that in history a lot of misuse of spiritual powers have occurred with all the consequences. In fact, the impurities in our hearts and minds have led to a highly polluted spirituality. Spirituality is so polluted that different religions are fighting against each other, although they deny the core of spirituality, namely that everything is one and that oneness is the ultimate and only truth, and that there is only one source. Very few things in the world are done selflessly and for a higher good. Even in the spiritual community, higher energies are often used for personal desires such as power. This is not the original job of the witch. The witch is a medium and a messenger of the source. She is a selfless servant. For those who want to become a witch, Again, it is interesting to see that we are all magicians anyway. All that we say, think, intend and do is magic. But we can perform magic with more intention and consciousness. To be a witch or wizard is a very natural thing. We as women need to reconnect to our female body first, our femininity, our masculinity, our natural rhythm, to Mother Earth and her rhythm, to heaven and its rhythm and higher beings and the souls. The same counts for men. They also need to heal the masculine and feminine aspects. We need a reconciliation of masculinity and femininity, of men and women. We have a lot to heal. Let's do it. The result will be love, peace and harmony.